The Obama administration on Tuesday signaled the Palestinian Authority that it will oppose efforts to unilaterally establish a Palestinian state at the UN in September. The Palestinians and their allies plan to call on the UN to formally recognize an independent Palestinian state in Judea, Samaria, and the Gaza Strip, with uh, Jerusalem as its capital. They have threatened to follow through with this plan in September unless Israel offers compelling concessions before then. The Americans are expected to veto the unilateral uh, establishment of a Palestinian state in the UN Security Council, but the motion is almost certain to pass in the General Assembly. Palestinian leader Mahmoud Abbas is confident that U.S. President Barack Obama will eventually come around and that America too will support the birth of Palestine even in the absence of a bilateral peace deal with Israel. We are counting on the words of U.S. President Barack Obama who said his vision is to see a Palestinian state this coming September, Abbas said during a visit to Tunisia this week. Abbas noted that it was Obama who originally set this coming September as a deadline for concluding negotiations leading to the creation of a Palestinian state. Those negotiations never happened thanks to a Palestinian walkout. Abbas also suggested that the U.S. will find itself isolated right along with Israel if it goes against the, the will of the international community. He pointed out that at present uh, no few, few, fewer than 130 nations recognize the state of Palestine and that UN General Assembly recognition will solidify that position. Abbas is scheduled to meet with French President Nicolas Sarkozy and German Chancellor uh, Angela Merkel in the coming weeks in order to secure European backing for a unilateral declaration of independence. If Europe is among the backers of a Palestinian state in the UN General Assembly, that may be enough to convince the Americans to refrain from vetoing Security Council endorsement of the move. The European Union is expected to be among the number that recognizes the Palestinian state along pre-1967 borders, so I expect the U.S. to give in to international demands. The U.S. has likely already informed Israel as to what the outcome will be come September and the direction they will be taking. I have to believe both the U.S. and Israel anticipate a worst-case scenario to develop. Although I expect for the Palestinian state to be created one way or another by the end of the year, much can change quickly as has been the case in the past. For instance, if the U.S. decides that the creation of a Palestinian state is not at this time in their best interest, they will convince European leaders to withdraw their support in favor of a later date. President Obama may agree to turn the Middle East peace process over to the Europeans in exchange for their cooperation. This is something the EU has been lobbying for in recent months. As for the U.S. finding themselves being isolated from the rest of the world for not cooperating with the U.N., that's simply not going to happen for obvious reasons. Certainly I see the day of the Lord fast approaching but we'll stop short of declaring that this is the year the rapture will take place. We simply don't know, but I suspect it will be sooner than later. This is Terry Malone with the Calvary Prophecy Report.